now, a special presentation from the KTBB News Group. This is the Bronco Roundup Game Day preseason special. Everybody, welcome to the Bronco Roundup preseason special. It is that time of year once again to bust out your best blue and orange. Football season is here. Amen to that. And expectations are once again here for the Broncos. Boise State picked to win the Mountain Division. The Broncos earned 15 of 21 first place votes. They're followed in the preseason poll by Utah State and Air Force. Over in the West Division, it's Fresno State that was picked to win followed by San Diego State. Now, with that, we begin our position-by-position position preview of each Bronco position group this fall. Starting up with the quarterbacks, life after Brett Rippon begins this fall for the Broncos. For the first time in four years, and only the second time of the Brian Harson era, the Boise State football team will start over again at quarterback. Gone is Brett Rippon, the man who started 49 out of the last 50 games under center for the Broncos. It's definitely tough losing a player like Brett. Initially, the quarterback competition stretched five wide. The Broncos brought in true freshman Hank Bachmeyer and Caden Bennett to compete with senior Jalen Henderson, sophomore Chase Cord, and redshirt freshman Riley Smith. It's been interesting at practice, you know. Bennett has since decided to transfer, and as fall camp progressed, the competition turned into a two-horse race between Bachmeyer and Cord. I mean, it's awesome, you know, seeing uh, two guys just duke it out, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a street fight. I feel like both of those guys are stepping up and really, like, bringing their best game to the table just to help our team be better. Just 10 months removed from an ACL injury, Cord started off fall camp on a rep count. It wasn't until a mid-August scrimmage that the coaches finally turned him loose. He took all his reps. There was no limitations, and he was out there the whole time, which is good. And he looks good. And Court immediately reminded people of what he could do. You see him take off sometimes, and it's kind of like, well, who's that kid, you know? He's been working hard, you know, in the training room. It shows out on the field. He's getting better and better, and he's getting more confident in his knee. And he looks like he normally does. At that same time, Bachmeyer continued to show people what he can do. Hank did a good job of coming in and uh, competing. He thinks a lot. He's a really smart kid as far as, like, preparation for practice and all that. And following Boise State's annual Fan Fest, Harson confirmed that for the second time in four years. He's put himself in the position to go out there and right now be the best guy. He will put a true freshman in charge of his offense. Hits. Hank put himself in this position. Hank earned it. Nobody was, it wasn't given to him. It wasn't because of, he earned it. He made throws, he completed passes, he did things in the pocket. Hank deservedly is the quarterback right now. Because they know they have an opportunity to be the man. It's a staggering number no school in the country can claim. Yeah! Boise State is the only school in America to have a 1,000 yard rusher in each of the last 10 seasons. Those guys competing on every single play where you're seeing maximal effort out of those guys. After a decade of excellence, this position group faces perhaps its most questions than any other year in the last 10. You've had your three guys that have been getting most of the reps with Mahone and Van Buren. Uh, Holani's been in there. Set, go. Life after Alexander Madison begins this fall and Robert Mahone leads the new stable in terms of experience. The junior has carried the ball 67 times for 243 yards over the last two seasons. I'm pleased with Rob right now where he's at and just his approach to everything, the way he speaks up in meetings now. You know, he works his butt off inside here and, you know, it really shows. I'm excited for Rob right now. And Rob's going to have to earn it. And uh, I know Drew is, he's going to want to be the guy. Andrew's going to want to be the man as well. Andrew Van Buren performed well as a true freshman last fall, rushing for 163 yards and two scores in limited playing time. At six foot, 220 pounds, Van Buren certainly adds a physical dimension. You know, just his physicality that he brings with it. And just his mindset, really, when, he, when he's running the ball, it's like, he's like, coach, it's either them or me. And it's going to be them. Low feet don't eat. Here we go, set, go. True freshman George Halani has don't done eat, nothing don't. but impress since arriving oh, George, on campus this summer. George has done some really good things so far coming in this, this summer. George is a good player, and he's picking things up on what we're doing offensively. He understands where we're going and what we're doing. He's extremely strong. Uh, he's quick. He's shown a gear that... Uh, that we really didn't know that he had. 
It might be more by committee, but it's a group determined to keep the Boise State running back standard historic this fall. It's exciting for me because now, you know, every day these guys are going to probably bring in their best. And it makes my job very difficult to sit there and go, you know what, I don't know who's going to be the guy. I've been in a lot of places and coached a lot of great players. Deshaun Jackson, Keenan Allen, Marvin Jones, John Ross, a lot of individual players. As a group, as a unit, this will be up in the top two or three I've ever been around. The Broncos aren't just talented at wide receiver this year. They're also deep and extremely versatile. I feel like from top to bottom we have a limitless group. I don't think we've actually realized our potential yet. I feel like we have no ceiling. Senior John Hightower is the speedster. We all know John is just a freak of nature. You know how you flew a car and like it's, it's, it can't go no more. I think that's how John is. Last year he led Boise State with six catches of 30 or more yards. Then there's junior C.T. Thomas. I kind of like pressure when it's given to me. Who is clutch. Even though he's 5'9", he believes he's the biggest and best player on the field. That's just his mentality and I love that about him. In 2018, he ranked third in the Mountain West with 16 catches on third down, 15 of which moved the chains for first down. You know, I just take those those third and fourth down little catches more personally because, you know, I guess I got a, a reputation of them now. <laughs> in addition to that, senior Achillean Butler brings experience and precision to the receiver room. I love running routes. That's just something I love doing. He knows what a DB's doing before the DB's do it, so we probably say AK is the route runner of the group for sure. While junior Octavius Evans, now that he's finally healthy, offers size and physicality. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm excited just to be back out there and just to see how it feels. Then there's sophomore Khalil Shakir. Khalil is very talented, yes. As a true freshman last fall, he scored both on the ground and through the air. And in the process, he proved there's not much he can't do. Khalil is kind of beyond his years. He's just very mature. Nothing really rattles him. He's very confident. Uh, he's just a really, really good football player. And I think we got really lucky getting him. Redshirt freshmen Stephon Cobbs and Billy Bowens offer this group some dependable depth just in case. If you're thinking the competition for catches could fracture this core, think again, because the only thing that rises above their competitive spirits is their compassion for one another. It's a very talented room, but it, they're even better people. And their desire to see all of their brothers succeed on Saturdays. Everybody's competing for a spot right now, but it's at, at the same time, it's all family. We brothers, like, we all love each other. We all lead each other, you know. Um, when someone's down, we all go pick them up. You know, it's a really uh, close, tight family in there. Now, one has to wonder the impact that the tight ends will make on the passing game this fall. As a unit, they combined for just 33 catches for 306 yards, the latter of which were the fewest in a single season by that position group since Harson returned to Boise State. Go! We feel each other there and, you know, we trust each other and it just makes everything a little bit easier. Returning all five starters, the Broncos offensive line is one of the most experienced in the country. We're all brothers pretty much. We all get along, we all fight, we all laugh. What? Experience is key, no doubt, but this group also has the special ingredients of chemistry and cohesion. Like, we just have a good time and we really enjoy each other's company. Like, it's a pretty good balance. When we're in that position room, it is, it is a blast. Like, we don't want to leave. The Broncos offensive line returns 106 career combined starts. As you can tell, that is far and away the most in the Mountain West Conference. Leading the way is the left side, featuring a pair of all Mountain West selections in senior guard and leader John Molchon. Yeah, we're pretty close. I would say brother-like, but honestly, I, f I feel like all every O lineman we're we're all brothers pretty much. Next to Molchon is All-American candidate junior left tackle Ezra Cleveland. He gives me fits, but every day he makes me better, so I appreciate him. He's really athletic, so I mean that that comes in, in many different places. Ezra. His just athletic ability, just things that he does kind of freaky in a way. Former Fruitland standout Garrett Larson returns at center after starting every game last season. On the right side, tackle Eric Cavedo returns alongside sophomore John Ajuku. The Boise Braves started the final seven games of last season, elevating the unit's play when he was inserted into the starting lineup. I feel a lot more confident just based on summer and spring, all the work that we've got to put in together as a unit, so. John Ojuku was in there and he kept up with them. and He became that fifth part right. in the old line where he could handle himself and we improved as the season went on, which is 
what you want to see. With all the experience back, the goal is more consistency and getting off to a faster start in 2019. Just start faster, you know. That's the mindset. That's the biggest thing we've been working on this whole spring and um, uh, summer. So that's the number one thing for us. On the Bronco Roundup preseason special, we take a look at the defensive standouts. That and more next.